Hey guys, what's up? My name is Britt and this is the Banana Diaries. So today we are going to be making some non-slimy oat milk. <laughs> it's very creamy, it's ready in less than five minutes, and it is my go-to homemade dairy-free milk recipe if I am in a pinch or if I don't want to go buy store-bought or if I'm trying to save money, all of that kind of stuff, this is your recipe. I could drink this just straight up, it's so good. All you're gonna need is a few simple ingredients that you probably already have on hand, and you don't even need a Vitamix. <laughs> It's true. If you're like me and you don't own a Vitamix, this recipe is also for you. So let's just get started. So I'm gonna be honest with you, making oat milk before this video has not been the easiest. I have rendered very, very slimy, gross mixture that I do not even want to share on here. And like, I love my oats, but I don't feel like drinking oatmeal, to be quite honest. So I finally went to work and did a little bit of testing and figured out a way to make oat milk from home, from scratch, that's not slimy and gross. Don't get me wrong, I do love buying oat milk. It's actually, okay, so I'm not like queen of sustainability over here. I'm still very much in the learning stages, but I have read that oat milk is more sustainable than all the other uh, dairy-free milks. Making oat milk from scratch is actually very cost-effective because oats are so freaking cheap, so, it's good. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make your own oat milk from scratch using only four simple ingredients. So we have our oats right here. I am using sprouted oats, but you can use not sprouted oats, still works. So you don't have to use sprouted, but if you are gluten intolerant or celiac, please get gluten-free oats. Next up we have some dates. We're just gonna be using one single date for this recipe. You can also just make this unsweetened, but I like a little sweetness in there and dates are like my favorite fruit ever. Look at him, he's so just like adorable. They're so cute. Third ingredient is some vanilla extract. Again, this is optional. You can also swap in some cinnamon. And then the fourth ingredient is just water. So let's get to working now. And we are back. So the beauty about this recipe is that you actually do not have to soak the oats. And that is the trick, okay? So the reason why my oat milk kept on coming out so freaking slimy like it was oobleck or something. Non-Newtonian <laughs> substance. I don't know if anyone else knows this. I, we used to do like the science experiment in elementary school where we'd make oobleck. I don't really know what it was, but if anyone else knows of that, please comment down below. I would love to know if you've made oobleck before. Do not soak your oats. Like this is a very like, minimal process it takes all of one minute to make do not soak your oats if you don't want slimy oat milk that makes sense i don't really know and then the second tip i have is please just use cold water because hot water is going to actually heat up the oats and it's going to make it like oatmeal we do not want oatmeal we want oat milk all right so we're going to take about a cup of oats and just put it into the blender and next up we're going to be doing about five cups of water Now you just take one date, and then I'm using about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, but again, you don't have to use vanilla extract. You can also use cinnamon, whatever floats your boat. And now we blend. And that is literally the only blending portion. So that was literally 30 seconds, and now we're just going to strain. All right, I am taking this big bowl and straining it in here because it's just easier for me. So I take a cheesecloth, and you can also use, if you have a nut milk bag, then you can also use that. Or I've read that you can use an old t-shirt, but I would recommend that you don't use one that is dirty and has dyes in it because that would kind of be nasty. So simply drape your cheesecloth over the bowl, pour into the cheesecloth. Boom. All right. And you just lift it up. You don't want to squeeze it too much because then you're going to get a little bit of that sliminess. So just kind of like let it drip out and then we're going to restrain it a second time. And I've also heard that you can use the leftover oat pulp for recipes. So I haven't personally tried this just yet. I haven't figured out a recipe to use, but if I come up with one, I will certainly put that down below in the description box. All right. And now we're going back for straining round two. So you definitely still get a little bit more the second time still. And now we're just going to pour into our glass bottle. And there you have it. 
your own homemade oat milk that literally took less than five minutes to make. So I highly recommend giving this recipe a go. You can use it in your oatmeal even. You can also use it as a creamer for coffee, which is something that I love. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I love that as like my morning go-to coffee mixture of, like, of espresso and oat milk. You can also use it for any other recipe that you would swap in regular milk in or like your almond milk or coconut milk. So it's a really amazing. I highly recommend you try this recipe out. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell notification if you want to see more like this. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for sticking around. Know that you are amazing, you're beautiful, you're wonderful, and you deserve to have a beautiful day. So go have a great day. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.